you're going to London and you want to visit the Tower of London, you can definitely get the tickets ahead of time. And I would recommend doing so just because you won't have to queue to buy the tickets locally. It will save you some time so that you can jump straight into visiting the Tower of London. What you do need to do is go to the Historic Royal Palace's official website, which I've linked in the description below. I've given you a shortcut straight to the Tower of London's page. There are a number of palaces included in Historic Royal Palaces, and I do encourage you to check them out because they're definitely all worth a visit. So once you're on the page, you'll see here, if you scroll on down the different ticket types and prices, it is expensive, but it's definitely worth the visit. Once you've had a look through, whichever ones apply to you, go ahead and click buy tickets. Now you'll see there, there's a little bit about a donation. If you do want to give a donation, that's fine. You'll be able to do so later on in the purchasing stage, but go ahead and click buy tickets. Here on this page, you can see the different dates of availability. Whichever days work for you, go ahead and click on that. I'm just gonna select a random date for the purposes of this demonstration. So you see here, we've got all the different ticket options and prices you're gonna select, which one you need and how many. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna add a small donation? If you want to, please go ahead. If not, that's okay too. And once you're ready, go ahead and click next. Now here you see you've got a few options. So we have guidebooks that you can add. There's an audio guide. I've done the audio guide myself. I found it to be quite worthwhile. I'm a history buff, so I definitely enjoyed it. They've also got the gunpowder plot. I've personally not done this, but I would definitely recommend looking into it if this is something that interests you. So once you're ready, go ahead and click continue. Now here they're just double checking with you that your order is correct. Just have a look through, make sure the date is correct. You've got the number of tickets you need. Once you're ready, go ahead and click continue. Now on this page, you just need to fill in your information. Have a read through, make sure everything is correct. And once you're ready and you agree to the terms and conditions, click continue. On this page, you're going to enter in your payment details. And then once you're ready, go ahead and click that green pay securely button. You will then get your confirmation number and it's going to be emailed to you. So when you get this email, you're going to get a PDF copy of your tickets and you need to print them. If you are not able to print them, that's fine. You will need to show your reference number when you arrive and they'll print the tickets for you. You can't use like a mobile ticket or anything. They do need to be printed. So once you've done that, you're good to go. Now, if you do want a guide, there is another option for this. If you were hoping for more of a guided experience, something a bit more in depth than an audio guide, you can definitely book a private guide, but you will need to look for it. And you can do this on Viator. So I've included a link in the description below straight to the Tower of London Viator page. Now, all of these options here, they're not managed by Viator. Viator is just the booking platform. There will be a local tour operator in London operating these tours. So you can see here, you can have a look through the different options here. There are going to be some that include a private guide. Some might even be a group tour, which would include a guide. Just have a read through here, find one that works for you, and that's it. It's that easy.